The first thing that we're going to look at is a rolling of the die example. And this program is going to simulate rolling a standard six-sided die 10,000 times. And to do this, notice how here at the front we import the Java Utility random package, okay? So we set up our public class, we call it roll die. We've got our main public static void statement at the top. And then we set up and call a random function. So a random number generator. And we set up a series of variables with integers that will track the frequency of the number of each, uh, the number of times each number comes up, you know, the die's face. So how many times does a one come up? How many times does a two come up? And so forth. And then we set up a variable called face to store the most recently rolled value. And then we set up a for loop and this for loop is going to summarize the results of the 10,000 rolls of the die. Now, if we roll the die 10,000 times, it might take us all day, right? The computer can do it in a second. And so we say that the counter starts at 1. As long as the roll is less than or equal to 10,000, keep running the loop. And then every time the loop is run, increment that roll variable. By one. All right, then we set up that we want the, the die to have numbers from one to six, and then we use a switch statement along with switch case statement to track and increment all of the instances that each number comes up. So as the frequency of one comes up, we raise the count of the one tracker and the twos tracker and the threes tracker and so forth till we get all the way down to six and then we end that loop. So now we've set up a system so that every time a number comes up it'll get stored and then we output the result to the user. So we say the number that came up and its frequency will be listed as output and that's pretty much what this program does. Now let's see if it runs. We'll bring up our command prompt and I will say I want to run the program Java roll die. All right, notice what happens here. We've got a simple table that shows us the number, shows us the frequency. And mathematically, if we roll the die, a six-sided die, 10,000 times, each number should come up on average 1,666 if you, you, know, if you do the, the division math. Now... To show that it's truly random, notice how each number does not come up exactly that many times. We've got some variation because it's a random occurrence. And so they're around 1666, but sometimes it's less, like 5 came up slightly less. 3 in this, in this uh, trial came up slightly more. All right, let's run it again and see what we get for randomization. All right, run it again and we get our numbers and notice how one came up relatively few times this time and the number four came up relatively many times. All right, so you can see that the random number generator is giving us different results as we run the program and each time we run this program it is simulating that loop, it's running through that loop 10,000 times. All right, let me clear this screen and we'll go on to our next example.